Hosseini reacts to Tinubu's claim that he cannot Islamize Nigeria. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. Popular controversial journalist Rafai Hosseini has shared his views on the claims of Asiwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu, the All Progressives Congress presidential candidate APC, that he cannot Islamize his country home. While speaking on a rise, VOP Oseni said that some of Nigerian politicians that used to call Christian Muslim tickets was a balanced ticket have changed their stance. They said that the flag bearer of the All Progressive Congress, Tinubu, has made tons of promises as a politician and has assured Christian that Islamization is not in his agenda. But it is now the decision of Nigerians whether they want a Muslim Muslim ticket in 2023. In his own actual words, he said, and I quote, Tunumbu has promised as a politician that he is and has tried reassuring and has tried reassuring Christians, but it will remain for Nigerians to decide if they want to vote a Muslim Muslim ticket in the 2023 presidential election. Furthermore, Oseni said that Tunumbu's reassurance to the people is only by saying that his wife is a pastor. It is not just by voicing it out only, rather it is the policies that will be implemented by the administration if he is victorious in 2023. What is your opinion about this? And this is what I've been trying to say. For all those who have been coming out to, you know, use all the most, then they shout like this, they are vain, like this, go come outside. Then they say, oh, the Muslim Muslims, I'm telling you, you people are wasting your energy. You don't, you know, it's things not expensive. How do you go to the market and get things expensive? And you're coming out, you know, after cooking your meal, using energy to cook the meal, use energy to eat the meal, and it now gives you energy to replenish. Eh? You now come out and you're using it to shout. Muslims get getting no work. No. You don't need to do that. Stop it. What you need to do is to pick your PVC come February 2023 and you go and vote your conscience very quietly and calmly. I don't tell them that could run these people's streets. The way these people, they use the rough handlers, they mean handlers anyhow with their life. Let us do the same thing to them. Make them feel them. Do you understand? Let them feel it too. There is not enough that will come out and make noise and make noise. These people, they don't send us. Most especially these are politicians. They don't care whether you are hanging by a tree, whether you are hanging down a tree. They don't care however you are surviving. We take concern and I may give them votes, may they enter. Once they enter, then go turn their back on Nana. Uh uh. You know, no need for me to tell Nana. You don't need me to tell you or to remind you. Nigeria belongs to God Almighty and nobody, I repeat, nobody can make Nigeria an Islamic country, God forbid. Okay. Oseni is an idiot. I had to read this out for some reason. I'm sorry, I mentioned, I'm using this kind of words. Now, how is Oseni? Why are you insulting Oseni? Oseni is saying, yes, it is true that Tunubu will come outside and, you know, and there was a call and say he is not going to Islamize the country. But now Nigerians get to decide. So how? I don't know whether some people, they even read between, in between lines. Ha. Now, wow. Okay. Check this. I carried a bunch of banana and I come out to cry. I am not a thief. Tunubu should give us such assurances by allowing his deputy to be a Christian. He has already failed. Mm. Nigerians, I don't talk on before. Say, what I need to do? If I don't like the combination of Tsunubu, I see what you with them. Kashim Shesima. Two people can, you know, pick another combo. That's the thing. Thank God we don't only have one. We have at least four major contenders. We have the NNPP. We have the People's Democratic Party. We have the All Progressive Congress and the Labour Party. So, pick your poison very, very well. Mm? Okay. When Tinubu was struggling to capture the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, his Northern Muslim brothers told him that if they must support him, he may choose a Muslim from the corner. He assured them that it is not going to be a problem, that they should just support him and leave him to handle the Christians. This he said because he knows that the majority of Christians are anywhere below faith Christians and can negotiate their faith for money, and that is what is happening. Well, uh, something like this, I heard it before. In fact, when I heard it, eh, I heard it from the angle of that, you know, Tunibu has, Tunibu was the one that was supposed to be the VP to, um, what's it called, to President Muhammad Buhari, but it did not work because President Muhammad Buhari was like, no, he no want. That was when I started hearing this, and I was like, ah, 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 ah. A man who lied for his age, 
a certificate, drug baron suspect, and give bride openly from Bulonvan during the primaries? Is it until a human head is found with him, a man who could not find any capable Christian to combine with in the entire north and lots of more? Mm. Nigerians, like I say, no need to waste your saliva, just do the needful. Oseni, what is your business in APC issues? Tell, tell, tell them to their choices. I don't understand. <laughs> action speaks louder than voice, but actions have already started Islamizing Nigerian, not just me say. Okay. He had a jihadist as his running mate, and he's telling us he's not going to Islamize Nigeria. Would they allow him to finish his tenure? If Tunubi is myopic and naive and not to discern what is ahead of him, we Nigerians, we are not naive. His insatiable ambition has blinded him, but we are the electorates are not that blind. We will be fooled like they did. We will not be fooled like they did in the 2015 elections again. Tunubi has never spoken the truth in all his life. From his name, age, schools attended, drug baron, looting of treasury, Natode, he just wants to be president by lie and by crook. Nobody trusts him. He will Islamize Nigeria. <laughs> hey. This is how the president of Turkey Connolly turned cocky to a Muslim country, deceiving them that he will not involve religion to relent. Today, what is happening in Turkey? Even the highest diocese was turned to a mosque. Even Turkey national flag is now drawn moon and star on it. Muslim Muslim tickets cannot work, even if you carry out all your trillion to buy people. It is only people like Kenyamo and Fene Kaide you can buy. Hmm. For Tunubu to propose fully set up the long standing balancing act in our political culture is a sin quinon. He wanted and decided to be mischievous, foolishly insensitive and spiteful, and he must pay for it. It is not considered treason for anyone to form on this type of unnecessary, unwarranted religious division in the country under a grim situation the country finds itself. Tunibu measure is a completely counterproductive and capable of instigating a religious war in the country. Actually, a Yorema will not Islamize Nigeria because his wife could be a Christian and that does not mean anything to him. Yoruba in Islams are Libra. Well, Trisha, Jalibra. All right. Um, the main thing is let us go, as in let us vote the right person we feel, somebody we are comfortable with. Somebody we are comfortable with and is competent, not just comfortable with. Somebody that will really make Nigeria a better country for all of us. Okay, on those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come, you're winning.